just uh, situ situate. Hold on, because I did. I, I made notes. All right. Oh, God. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out. I am Randy. This is Brian, and we come to you from Nerd Out headquarters. And uh, this, as we are recording this, the international, is it the New York Toy Fair 2018, just in case you go back, is going on now. And uh, I would say that the majority of what has been Horse revealed... Shit. <laughs> Any picture we used from Toy Fair 2018 is not our, that of our own. It was stolen, so if you're offended, sorry, but we're not making any money off it. I guess. It's called new. New? And what that means is they... I don't know, I'm just going off. Huh? Well, I didn't see a single original thing, man. Okay, well, like, we'll I'm get... sorry, it's all rehashed shit. But, okay, we'll get there, but like... In, in defense of the Toy Fair, which I don't know why I'm doing, it's like... You don't probably uh, review as much as like I went to like ten different sites and like Instagram true, and true. you know but so we'll get there but okay uh, well first of all let's start with the first thing is that uh, it has been announced that Bandai in America will no longer be producing Power Ranger toys and Hasbro's going to produce them which is kind of crazy when you think about it because since the, its inception Bandai has been doing Power Rangers. And uh, in Japan, they're still going to be doing Power Rangers. Like, do you have any opinion on that? Well, I mean, the whole thing is the, the, the Bandai, but that's Bandai America, right? Right, absolutely. Different company. It's different and totally. I mean, I don't know. I never thought their toys were that good or that bad either way. It sort of seems like, like a horizontal move. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, know, I kind of agree with you. I think the Bandai stuff uh, early on in the 90s was really solid. Like, yeah, really it was well neat. done toys. But I think in the last decade, They've just become sort of disposable junk. And uh, in my opinion with Hasbro is they'll probably produce the same sort of disposable junk. Yeah, because, yeah. So it is, sure. yeah. Uh, the only thing is, is someone correct me if I'm wrong, I always assumed that uh, the American Power Ranger stuff was basically re-released Bandai stuff. and, and that, But I don't think that is the case, right? I, I don't know, but I mean, you, you, like, it's just weird that they would like go out of their way to make less impressive yes. stuff to release here. I mean, it would sound, financially, you would think it would make more sense just yes. to release stuff, but I don't know and, enough about power. Right, right, right. Like comment. And that is one of the biggest issues with like American toys, is they just don't have the same standards as Japanese toys, but... I mean, we'll, we'll we'll get into that. So that's big news. Um, I want to start with with some good, because uh, I think there was good. I think Mezco 112 Collective showed some. They had a ton of shit. The John Wick, shit. John Wick. Yeah. That was that's that's a winner to me. It's taking a little bit of a leap into something less than what we're familiar with seeing. Like, I mean, how many Batman well, I, toys? See, I would have to disagree. Okay. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's a dude. Yeah. It's a dude. It, it's He's a dude with guns. Yeah. I mean, like, like it's just, you'd think Toy Fair, mm -hmm. show me something new. I agree. Not something I want to see. On a, I mean, I guess we're looking yeah. at it from a website anyway. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, that's all you, like, nothing Blow new. my mind. You yeah. don't even have to blow uh, my mind. Yeah. Show me. There's another. Okay. I'm going to tell you about the O word. Go for it. The slinger. Like, original. Original. Like, it's just, they won't do it. No I one. Agree. They're, they're like, you know what? We're not doing anything original. We refuse. No new toys. No no new. Like, uh, I mean. I saw nothing uh, original from Toy Fair. I'll say that right neither. now. Like, like everything was like a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, new yep. Hasbro. Um, An expansion of a line. Yeah, Transformers, or new Star Wars. New, there was nothing, I can't, let, let me just look through my list so I don't kick myself in the balls. The opinions of Randy and Brian have a right to change at any time, at any point of their existence. Whatever they say negatively or positively of Toy Fair is of permission to change at any time. Um, yeah, there, was, the there was nothing that was a new property where it was like, whoa, I'm interested in this, mm. or I don't know if I'm interested in this, but this is something new. There was none of yeah, that. It's like nothing there made me feel like, wow, I want to, I, I, like, I, I know everything I saw pictures, of, I already know what it is. Yes. And it's like, I know what it'll feel like. I know exactly how good it'll be because it's not, you know, and yeah. it's like nothing sparked my curiosity. Not what, you know? You know what? Nothing That's sparked my curiosity either. Um, even even new concepts were of old stuff. Like for example, okay. so um, I I wasn't uh, the Funko has a new line called like Savage. Hold on, I wrote it down because it's really it was, it was uh, Savage 
you know, Garden? Savage World. <laughs> Savage Garden. <laughs> Savage World. And basically what they are is they're kind of playing off the He-Man body style, that 5.5-inch, okay. like, hunch they, over. They are the same size, right? Yes. Okay. They're that, absolutely playing that off. Gross. Now, yeah, dude, yeah. I, you know what? Here's the thing. Uh, they didn't work. They, in my opinion, looking at the pictures, they did these Thundercat ones, and they just don't work for me. Like, they, I get what they're going for. They're going for, like, what if everything was He-Man, and it yeah. just, the Thundercats didn't work. And most notably is they're finally doing Conan the Barbarian Arnold Schwarzenegger movie toys. And that should work, right? Yeah. That should work with He-Man. Yeah, but not like that. They didn't look good. Like, it, it's just, because we don't want that anymore. Then those, like, we're nostalgic for yeah. that. That was a limitation of the, I don't know if it was real. Yeah. I don't like, know if it, it was, was an intentional style. I think it was a style, style, back then. Think it was a style but, choice. But we don't want that now. I don't think, I mean, maybe How, one or two. Maybe one or two. Um but, I'm I'm with you. I don't particularly want it now, but I know that there are people watching this who are saying I want that now. But but how about I want it now? I want it done right because they look soft. Like I thought one of the impressive things about the Masters of the Universe line when I was a kid was they were so ripped, like yeah. every muscle that it was like it was such an exaggeration of an exaggeration. And uh, these looked like they got the shape of the body. But they're soft. soft they they lines. looked like a Kmart. Yeah, the Remco. A little bit. The yeah. what was it? The Remco. Yeah, the Remco they, they looked like the Remcos. Beast. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, so for me, it's like I I was really excited about. I I like to I like the nostalgia thing. It's just that yeah. they didn't impress me. Like I'm gonna probably buy them, especially Thundercats. Yeah, I mean, and that's the whole thing. There's nothing wrong with what was there. Did you see the horror ones? Yeah. yeah they Wait, just, the what? The, the, horror? the horror Savage Worlds? Like they did uh, Jason? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. They did, yeah. I thought they were pretty cool. You actually. did like them. I mean, okay. I would never get it. Right. But, I mean, it's ridiculous. But yeah, yeah it's it was ridiculous. pretty cool. Yeah. And um, did, what about. Uh, did you see. I don't know if they were knockoff Mezcos or if it is, is Studio Soap. I've never heard of that. What were they making? They were making uh, Nolan verse um, Mezcos. Really? Studio soap. Yeah, and, and they're one twelfth scale. One twelfth scale. Yeah, and I don't know if they might design for Mezco. I don't know I, how it works. My but... thought is that you're going to see in the next year it's a be trend. A thing. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a trend because I think it's pretty cost efficient because once they build a couple bucks, which is just mm. like the straight up body, then it's just a matter of a head sculpt and then like. This the uh, add-on okay. materials, yeah. yeah. So I think it's I think it's going to be a huge trend. Plus, they're really popular. Um, I thought the John Wick one looked it good. Looked incredible. I think yeah. the Cable one looked really good. Did you see the Cyclops? The you, it was the Jim. Yeah, Cy I like that. I didn't like it, man. Really, the only one I didn't really care for yeah. was the Blade. Really, what was it about the Blade you didn't like? Because it's like it was so close to the Wesley Snipes Blade, but not. Oh, I didn't notice that. Like, so it's not actually Wesley Snipes' head? I don't think so. And uh, the buckles weren't obnoxious enough. Like, oh. like his outfit, he's got the yeah. huge 90s, 90s buckles. buckles. It's like, the dude, like, that was such a staple. Uh, and, well, if it's not if it's not a Wesley Snipes blade, I don't I don't think I'd want it. Like, you wouldn't want like the 70s No, guy? I don't know. Well, you, what you're what you're describing is like it's a compromise. It's not yeah, quite they, Wesley Snipes. It, it, it seems like, like a style. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's there were parts about it right, that were right. really close, but I didn't think it like really looked like Wesley Snipes. Ah, uh, okay. I'd have to look at that again. Um, but the Cyclops didn't do it for me because they did like, like you know, he's got like I guess they did like this weird like on the material. There's like different color shades of blue, uh -huh. and it looked really cheap to me. But was it? I thought there was a lighting. I thought it was just maybe a shiny. I think there's different. Different. Yeah, yeah but that's it, that's again, when I see it in person, I might like it better. Uh, I thought the cable looks spectacular, and I think their movie monster stuff looks great. Like, who doesn't want to have uh, Mezco horror movies at Halloween yeah, to Michael put out? Myers. The Michael Myers, awesome. the Jason. Like, I do think that Mezco was probably the most impressive like display. Again. Um, I, I wish they would cut the price down so people can really explore this world. I'll bet you get it. I'll bet they do once more companies start do or it'll yeah, they jack have to compete, it up. or yeah, they'll jack well, it up and yeah, once it gets competitive. But I mean, yeah, you just yeah, have that cornered right um, now. Yeah. Okay. Let's get to we'll get to the Hasbro because I mean I think that was a that was a big first and foremost I didn't expect them necessarily to reveal six inch GI Joes. 
But deep down in my head, I was hoping that they would blow my mind with that. They got to starve me I'm, a little I'm bit more st for I'm it. so starved for G.I. Yeah. Joe. They didn't do it. Uh, what they did show is Star Wars. Um, we didn't talk about the Han Solo, but they showed some Han Solo figures, and I'm, I'm super negative about it. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, like... Oh, I thought you were into it. The what? The Han Solo stuff. Are you talking about the toys or the movie? Either or. I think the movie will be whatever. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I've seen two minutes. Yeah, me and, too. And I've seen so many movies I thought were going to be incredible. That's true. So there, there's nothing to say about it That's yet. That's true. I mean, he looked like him. You do think so? Close enough. I, I didn't mean, think he looked like him or sounded like him. And, and it's not like I want a mimic. Like, I don't want someone mm. doing an imitation of Han Solo. But I didn't even get the feels from him. I think he looks a lot like really? him. Really? Okay. Like, he resembles him. He doesn't look like him. Mm -hmm. But he looks like... Like... I didn't... Look, you're right. It was like two minutes. But I didn't get, like, the mannerisms of him. Like, again, I, I'm not saying I want to mimic... He's a little young, though, you know? But I think they're going for... You think he's too young to well, have the... It's just... Like, he's younger than Harrison Ford was in Episode 7, really? I Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would like, think so. Like, he would way have to younger, be. Cause right, because Ford is, is like 40 or something. Yeah, plus, plus this is, like, Kessel Run and, yeah. like, how he meets Chewbacca. I think my concern is the fact that it's going to be such a fan service and it's going to be everything you expect it to be it's going to be the kessel run it's going to be meeting han solo here's uh chewbacca I agree. it's going to be but what if you get that in 15 minutes and the whole rest of the movie is something else that would be great and that's what i think they're gonna okay. i think they know that i mean i don't know i but, appreciate your confidence towards it because i need that yeah i mean i'm trying i don't know i'm let me put it i'm hoping right okay. that all that what all that you're saying is okay. about 15 minutes with I, the footage i hope i'll i'm gonna put that in my head now because it, it does give me an opportunity mm. to be positive um but as far as the toys go um oh, i God. actually think see i actually think i think hasbro's doing a pretty good job with the star wars stuff um, I actually think they've made improvements, and I think it's all the digital head sculpts that they've been the switching Falcon to. Falcon just that killed me. Falcon sucked balls, especially when they have a perfectly good mold, but just pull the electronics out of it and re-release re it. I agree. I guess it's supposed to be a slightly different because it's the Kessel Run mm -hmm. Millennium Falcon, but it looked like dog shit. It looked like a one seater Falcon. Yeah, yeah. It's oh, like unacceptable. People will not go for that anymore. I, no, it you're just, right. And they proved that with like that ad at they came out with, yep. and that had some stuff. Kids uh, expect more. I agree. I expect, I expect more. more. Right. Yes. Uh, speaking of expecting more, that sale barge, <laughs> they yeah. are releasing, or they're not. They're trying to crowdfund a, a sale barge, a five hundred dollars sale barge, sale barge that's four four feet long, includes, and this is three and fourth inch scale, the Jabba the Hut, and it looks like quality. Yeah, that, that looks incredible. I mean, I would almost consider it. Me too, if you had like, to. Like, just because I like things like that being made. I want to support that. Yeah, I do too. I don't I know if I can afford it, right. but I still might get it and just even sell right. it. Right. Just, just to, yeah. just to say Hasbro, yeah. this is what we want to see. Yeah. Like, they're doing the three and three fourth inch vintage collection again. Which I like. I want to see those. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I was interested in. I was like... That's my Star Wars. Like, their Star Wars black figures looked okay, but like, like, like I want a big Gamorrean car guard. That's pretty hilarious. But like the three and the four. <laughs> yeah, I don't pretty, know why. I don't, I don't know either. I like the Gamorrean guard. He was the first Return of the Jedi figure I ever got as a kid. But I think that they've improved their Star Wars black stuff. But it's not what I want to see. It's limited. Like the three and three fourth inch. Um, what, what are the call the power? What are the power cheap force? ones? No, what are the oh. cheap ones they come out with? The garbage. Oh, I. Um, the power for the force power. I think so. Force force link, garbage. Just get rid of that shit. Don't mm -hmm. insult children with that. Don't insult collectors with that. Just come out with the vintage collection stuff. Like, did you see that Rogue One assault tank they're coming out with for that vintage? Looks sweet. Looks, Looks awesome. pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. I just don't understand. Like they took, they they stopped those. And they were quality. Like, now you your Star Wars universe is big again. Yeah. Go back to it. Yeah, and I love the vintage line because it's, even they're not even, like, they make vintage line of new stuff. Yeah. Like, it, it just the packaging. The packaging. It's like, that's how you play on people's nostalgia. Absolutely. Amen. Give us give us nostalgic packaging that reminds us of what we had, but a better product. And Amen. Yeah, man, you know. With that said, I think the Star Wars offering as a whole this year was much better looking 
uh, than the last couple of years because I've been really hard on the Star Wars yeah. black figures. It's just that Falcon really. That pissed Falcon me was off. a piece of shit, man. Uh, like it pissed me off. Yeah, pissed. yeah. And uh, there's cute little pork packs. Like that was cute. I don't know what they're gonna cost, but that was kind of cute. Uh, the sail barge, man. I think I have to get it to support them. Yeah. Uh, does that mean I'm gonna get a new three three fourth inch Luke Jedi Knight? You get a would you get a few of them and put them in all like like set up multiple scenes of him kicking ass? Dude, I mean, all right, like... here here I'm gonna say it right now. If Hasbro states that they are going to put a focus on the Java's Palace characters for the next two years, so you can fill so that I can thing fill it off. Perfect. If they showed a yak face, if they commit to doing that, I right here say I will buy the sail barge. If that means I'm gonna get a uh, Sweet Bib for Tuna. I'm gonna get like Luke Jedi Knight, a new Bosch, like a whole set, like a really classy set. I'm selling you, I'm in. Okay. I, I mean, honestly, I might get it just because I like shit like yeah. that. Yeah. I, I like high quality toys like that, and that's just awesome. Absolutely. I mean, I wanna support that. Uh, on the opposite spectrum, one of our biggest subjects is generally Transformers. And I thought the Transformers was a complete insult to not only adult collectors yeah. but kids yeah. like it looked like the side nothing thing. nothing even um, the big guy yeah uh, the credit like, king credit king like was it was like, fine it was fine but, but it's, it's like, not as good as devastator no i didn't think I so didn't think it, it did look pretty cool but maybe you're right like i, I thought it looked like maybe a step down from from devastator mm -hmm. or i mean like i'm not into credit king really but. yeah yeah i'm not really into credit king mm -hmm. either like i i dig it i think you can still get like the vintage reissue for like a reasonable mm -hmm. price and it's like that was a solid toy but the Transformer stuff looked insulting to me. And, yeah. and I don't know, maybe my standards are too high, but like when I looked at the Star Wars stuff and Marvel Legends stuff, I'm like, they're fucking doing it. Yeah, they give a shit. They give a shit. They don't care about no, their Transformers. They don't. They're, they're obviously just putting shit out to keep it alive. But yep. They're putting no thought into it. I agree. No, Did nothing... those molds look all rehashed? They looked... From like the Titans Return line or, or a little bit? Yes, a lot of them did. And... Uh, there's like the optimal optimus which i'm a fan of like uh -huh. but like i don't it, think that it didn't good. look as good as the original optimal optimus like <laughs> they had like these purple painted shoulders that just looked so garish and like not in a good way because i think titans return stuff looked garish mm -hmm. in a good way they were like they were crazy and bright and colorful but nothing that the transformers let me just make sure that i i didn't note that there was anything interesting um no, even even the, uh, the, I mean, I'm in for it. Like, I want the MP stuff, but the MP Ironhide looks weird to me for some reason. But I know in hand it'll look cool. Do you know the movie? Oh, movie master. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Okay. Um, but it just, there was nothing inventive. Nothing looked inspired to me. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I, I was like, you know, I just, all I, I'll be honest. Yeah. Toy art is all I did. Yeah, yeah. And then a couple videos, and I just was like, when I was looking through it, it felt like homework. Like, yeah. I literally was looking through it. To and find like, one good thing that kept yeah. your interest. I'm like, I, the only reason I'm looking like this is because I'm doing a show. Yeah. And it's like, that's like, I'm like, this is sad. I wanted, I wanted to like, like. But it's not sad it, because it's just toy fair. That doesn't represent right. even it doesn't, like it doesn't. 20% right. of what comes out this year. But Usually, I get excited mm -hmm. for toy fair. And it's mostly stuff that I'm really not interested. But in that, there's a couple gems that I'm mm -hmm. like. Damn, I want that. I didn't find one Transformer gem, and most everything else. Like I'll tell you where all the good was. Yeah, there's always a good Transformer. Yeah, there's always Not right. One. There's always Not one. one this year. Right. Um, the the only toy line um, from the big the big companies that inspire is inspired to me is Marvel Legends. It's just that I. I like Marvel Legends. I like superheroes, but I'm not a collector of that. Yeah, the MCU ten year stuff. Some of that looks really cool. Like, like what? Like the Pepper Potts? Like well, actually, yeah, that's yeah. sort of cool. Yeah. With the Stravis armor. What, but what, no, blue, the Tony Stark. Yeah, just the Tony Stark in a suit. Like, thank you, dude. Like, yeah, no, I agree. Like that's really cool. They are truly, in my opinion, yeah. really putting all their love into Marvel Legends. Like. Yep. That Ant Man, like I'm not even an Ant Man fan, but, but it his awesome. face, it looked like Paul Rudd. Yeah, the, yeah, I mean it's like, yeah, I mean it, as hard as I am yeah. on them, they put like Hasbro, they put everything, everything. in the Marvel yes. Legends, and it's working. Uh, one comment though, um, 
there was an awful lot of Deadpool toys. Like yeah. maybe we should Annoying. take maybe we should take a little chill on Deadpool. Like I like the way Deadpool looks. Everybody likes Deadpool, but it is a bit oversaturation. Like I, there was a whole line of Deadpool toys, and then there was like. Ten Deadpools in every color of the rainbow. Yeah. And, and then the weird Deadpool. Yeah, and, and then, then the, the girl Deadpool. Deadpool. It's, Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, actually. yeah, sure, but it's slow it down yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. With that said, I am looking for the new Deadpool and the new Cable. Right, but, uh, you know, and, and you know what? You know what they could have, I think, would have been impressive? Uh, a movie Deadpool. I hope they're going to show a movie Deadpool because it would be cool to get... After I just got done saying that it's a, a movie, actual an actual movie, Deadpool would be cool. What um, was your favorite Marvel legend you saw? Um, well, it doesn't count. It's Tiger Stripe Wolverine, which they already showed because I'm a lover of the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. But um, let's see. There was a uh, the you know what? I really like the way the Sauron looked. Yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, like I that do. 90s sword? Yeah. And Spider-Ham. Like, I was going to say, Spider-Ham was probably my favorite. That that shows that they were giving a damn is because they are making a Spider-Ham. Even if it's just a pack-in, it it's shows. It's so sweet. It, it's yes, awesome. It means that they know who the consumer is, and they're going balls in. It for, they're going out for yeah, it. And I liked it. Like, like they, they're just... Hitting the Bronze Age. I love the Bronze Age. Do they have a Howard the Duck? Uh, they came out with a Howard the Duck um, in the Toy Biz series. Okay. And it came in as this pack in for, with Silver Surfer. Um, they just revealed, I saw like a like a Fantastic Four Thing figure, which was pretty spectacular. Um, they showed uh, Silver Surfer, which I never really liked Silver Surfer as a character, but it looks like it a pretty... It looks sweet. Yeah, it looked cool. Um, but co you know what? Hasbro, uh, Marvel Legends is truly like I, I give them for every like imperfection of that line, they get a pass because of all the good stuff, and uh, they do everything. They do everything, I mean, and they do it they well. Do, yeah, it, I mean, I don't even know if you could say everything, but they're just they're trying to do everything, and I love that. I appreciate. Yeah, that. I did too. Some other things I want to make note of that I saw that was at least curious, like caught my curiosity is Super Seven, who does the reaction figures. Uh, they announced uh, Pee Wee's Big Pee Wee Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse, and I just want to say, like, I'm a huge Pee Wee's Playhouse fan. Like, I'll buy whatever they come out with. They're doing those Planet of the Apes figures, which I like, but that's again coming from someone who likes the nostalgia. They're doing uh, the Robotech three three fourth inch, uh, but they're max. I, I, you know, I'm into it, and they're, they continue doing uh, the Masters of the Universe. And it is worth noting that they're continuing the Masters of the Universe Classics line. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. But it, from what I saw, like, again, I'm a casual He-Man fan. Like, it looks like they're just kind of running out of things to do at this point. Like, which They have the license. Why not? Why not? Just make right. it. Right. But that's fine because for those people who are really inspired by He-Man, we'll probably be, are probably, like, gung-ho about it. And I'm happy for that. It's I just, love He-Man guys, too. I mean, like, mean? people that are into He-Man. He-Man collectors? It's, yeah, it's just... Why do you, why is that? That's I interesting. I don't know. I just think it's, like, it's his whole thing. It's it, just different, man. It's it like, covers all the bases? Well, I don't know, but there, like, a lot of people that are into He-Man, yeah. all they do is He-Man. Yes. They don't, yes. oh, fuck you, I won't touch a robot. Right, crap, right, crap, right. Crap, crap. But they do the He-Man and I respect that. Yeah, yeah. And and that's hence why Funko is doing mm -hmm. that, like, He-Man style figure. Maybe trying to get trying them into other get, things. Absolutely. Cross-pollinate. Absolutely. Oh. So okay. maybe, you know, I get it. I just don't think that their execution, based on the pictures, was as good as uh, I, w I wanted as to be. As long as something else isn't suffering from it, I don't care. Maybe, right. You know? Look, I agree. I, I actually was liking the direction that Funko was doing with their three and three fourth inch figures. Like they're coming out with mm -hmm. uh, it figures for the movie it, and they look pretty good. And it's like I was like, they're finally getting that three and fourth inch figure style done right. I would love them to do the Thundercats and the Conan the Barbarian in that style because that's yeah, my preferred. Oh, yeah. I'm a three and three fourth inch guy, so like that's my preference. Uh, NECA is coming out with some cool stuff. Like they're doing the Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, more it figures they're doing both Pennywise. Did you see those? Yes, those were cool. Yeah, I think the the eighties one is like why bother? It really, it's not scary anymore. You you wouldn't want the eighties one. I take the new one more because the new one. I think that's one movie that improved on the old. I one agree. In every way. I agree, including the scary ass. Crowd. I agree, but but uh, really like just the. I'm gonna get one for my, my little brother. I'm gonna buy the old Just school. Scare the shit out of scare them. the shit out yeah. of them. I mean, Absolutely. I guess that sort of you could give that to so many yeah. people our age and then go like Absolutely like get pissed at you for it because yeah. it scared them as a kid. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And I yeah. love that. Um 
So, so look, I think there, the Toy Fair still goes on for another day. Oh, yeah, and one thing worth noting, uh, Mattel didn't sh like, I, I just have no interest in the DC figures they make. Like, I skip right over them. Like, I don't, they don't even stand out to me. I don't, I don't, yeah, even I don't look think at anybody no. does. Does like, anybody like them? Yeah, let us know. Are you into these, the DC multiverse figures? And I don't know if it's the characters or the toys or, but oh, it, like, for oh. whatever reason, I, I just completely glaze over it. Like, I have no interest. Um, and uh, one other noteworthy thing is that uh, Playmates showed the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series. What do you think of those designs? Did you see them? Yeah, I looked over them really quick. They didn't do anything for me. me. Neither. And they were right next to the Voltron, which did also... Yeah, that, yeah. The, the, it looked like a lot of repaints of the Voltron. The Voltron with the black parts on them really didn't look good. No, it didn't do it for me. Um, I, I will say I respect Ninja Turtles for constantly reinventing itself. But I like the classic. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like the classic too. I like when they were they were violent, like and scared, like you know. Yeah. But the new style didn't appeal to me. But if someone says that it did appeal with them, I totally respect that opinion because I do think that they at least uh, gave a shot. They're taking a little risk, which is yeah. more than I could say for Transformers or some other brands. Like it looks like they took some risks. Um, before we wrap up the toy fair, can we just have a, a quick? Uh, in Japan, Wonderfest is going on. And this is where I think I have more interest in that. Where all the cool stuff is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's weird. That company, Evolution, which I'll never buy another product mm -hmm. from them, uh, they are releasing Superhuman Cyber... What was it called? Superhuman Cyber Squad. Samurai Cyber Samurai Squad. Samurai Cyber Squad. In the 90s, when all things were Power Rangers, Playmates yeah. came out with those toys. They were nice, They though. were nice. I liked those toys a lot. I did, too. Servo was the main character. Mm. It was kind of like Ultraman meets Power Rangers, which essentially is Power Rangers. It's just Ultraman briefs. But uh, it's kind of a cool idea. It's just that I won't even give Evolution a chance. That's, well, I, there's no need There's to. no need I mean, after that. And they're coming out with more Legius. Uh, yeah, both uh, colors. Piece which, of shit. It's sort of like there's a part of me yep. that wants them. The sickness but it's like, but the the problem is, they could improve it. I mean, it, but but it, it won't undo the piece of shit exactly. I already bought. But they very well could be absolutely. But corrected. unless they send me a new one of the legis that I have that is completely improved, it's I like what do you do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like how the I best feel. one is already done. Yeah, so the I best give one. A shit. Absolutely, I don't want to give them. For, for them simply releasing that without the quality controls that should have been done, I I'm I give them a big you know. F to be honest, if I if I hear that it is fixed, if I have proof that the red one or the green whatever is fixed, yeah. I'll get it. You'll I'll get, get it. it. Yeah, I Dude, need one. I maybe need a good one that I can play with. Maybe if it was one hundred fifty dollars, maybe. But those things were three, and that's yeah. that was a that yeah. wasn't good. That was tough. If you get it, can I have the little cyclone figurines that came with it? Yep. Buy them off you. Um, they also showed, uh, Takara showed some new Diaclone mechs. Looked pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's very expensive, and, like, they're just trickling them out. It's slow. It's slow. I need a little bit more. And then, uh, one other note, the Transformers Takara Masterpiece Dinobot pictures. New pictures. I'm in. Um, of course you're in. When, yeah. But it looks, it looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous, but if you're not into Beast Wars... You're missing mm. out, but... I pre-ordered that 120th scale Valkyrie. You really did pre-order that? No, you oh. can't pre-order it. That's just... A, I think what that is... It's yeah, a, explain that. It's just the Gerwalk, Gerwalk mode, right? Yeah, and it's a model. I mean, it's basically... How how Wonderfest works, everybody has a license for, okay. for the for Wonderfest to sell whatever they want for okay. that day. Oh, really? Yeah, so, so... Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, so it's like anything there, mm -hmm. if people want to sell kits and resin right, kits... Right, right. You buy it for a day. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, so they produce that? I, well, I don't day? know about that one. I, I, I don't know if that's just a display. Who made it? Who made it? Do you know? Mm -hmm. I'll say this. Uh, I've, I've said many a times that Gerwalk mode is useless to me, but that big ass Gerwalk. Yeah, and that size, of, and it's growing. You know, for the VF does. one, yeah, it's usable because it's sort of intentional, right? You know, but on on the newer designs, I, I don't dig it. Plus, you have so many uh, Valkyries that you have to kind of start putting them just, in the other yeah, mode. Just, just to fill variety. it in, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, overall, um, yeah. I think there was some good, there was some bad, and then there was some t Transformers. Like, the Transformers, 
stuff useless, is just man. useless. And it's like, Hasbro, get your shit together. Make make a better product. Take a risk. Take a risk. Even if even if the fans don't respond well to it, take a risk. You, a, you can afford to take a risk. Um, can they, though? I mean, that's the whole thing. It's like... Yeah, because they always have, like, three or four different Transformer series. Yeah, so make less shit. Make, make less yeah, shit and just make, make good stuff. Better, yeah, make better stuff. Like, peg uh, warmers can you make? Yeah, I mean, how many fucking shockwaves and star screams that basically look the same... Primes, but, you know, primes, matter. absolutely. No, sick I agree. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Although, uh, we did hear, apparently, Transformers 6 is not going to be Transformers 6. I guess they're completely changing direction. Reboot, after, new yeah. director and everything. And you know what? Good. Thank you. Please do Yeah, it. I mean, Michael Bay, I, I mean, I know we can make uh, profitable movies. Profitable but, movies. But let's see something yeah. good. Oh, you know what? You With know? that said... I have to admit, the Transformers movie line that they showed with the blackout looked kind of yeah. good. That yeah, blackout... Final, I know, they're, right. they're making good toys mm -hmm. of it, but just let it go. Let it go. Get, let, come up with a new movie that's good, yeah. that everybody can like, kids and adults, and make good toys for it. Have like cool designs and make good toys and everybody will be happy. Everybody. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. Easy peasy. You can't mess up robots that turn into vehicles. Or you can. But yeah. I'm sick of Transformers. I am too. I am and I hate to say I it. I hate to say it too. But it's like, but I'm not sick of, of, of robot not toys that of, turn into shit. Right. I'm not sick of playing but, with the Transformer puzzle. Yep. I'm just sick of what... like the something new. Absolutely. The powers of the Prime stuff is absolutely useless to me. Yeah, man. Yeah, and, and it makes no sense because it's like Transformers is like one of the only toy lines where they'll have like a line that's pretty good, mm -hmm. then a line that's awesome, and then just shit yeah. goes back to crap. It's like you're supposed to get better and better, not like worse. I agree. I agree. It's uh, it's insulting. Not to not to a 41-year-old man. It's actually insulting to a 10-year-old kid, in my opinion. That's my thought. Uh, but hopefully, you know, share with us. Let us know if there's something that blew you away. Maybe we missed something. Um, you know, there were, like, little things here and there that were announced that we, we, we can't cover everything. But, like, anything that, that would have really caught my interest, for better or worse, per, like, I think we kind of brought up. Uh, I do like those Pan's Labyrinth figures, too, from NECA. But, again, yeah, they're just, they're cool. cool. But, like, it's nothing is new. Like, yeah. if you see it's something. a statue of, some, of yeah, a 10-year-old exactly. movie. Exactly. I mean, there's just nothing new. Yeah. But... Uh, I hope you enjoyed our conversation. Uh, please check us out on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Uh, subscribe. Uh, that's a thing you're supposed to do. And tell us you like us or tell us you hate us. And until next time, nerd, nerd out! out! Any of the pictures we used from Toy Fair 2018 are stolen. We didn't take any of them. And we are not making any money off them. So sorry if you're offended.